There's new research and it suggests that vitamin D deficiency could increase the risk of death from coronavirus. Dr. Richard Shafu joining us now to explain. Dr. Shafu, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Shelly. Good to see you too. I actually heard this very early on. It was one of the, the pieces of information within weeks that I heard some doctors talking about it. Vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D. And I think people started taking it and I don't even know why they were taking it. Right. Well, the thing about vitamin D, it's an essential vitamin, Charlie, that actually needs to be produced naturally from, from sunlight, from sun exposure. Uh, it can be found in certain foods like egg yolks, but typically it's something that we have to make naturally. It's very intimately involved in our bone metabolism and our hair and skin and nails. So if we have vitamin D deficiencies, we get a problem with our joints, we get in problems with hair loss or skin or nail changes. How many of us are vitamin D deficient? Efficient. like you have to go outside to be able to have this right so I mean you can't you can't actually get it from certain foods for example egg yolks or dietary supplements that, that you can take but surely what seems to be interesting is that as we age our vitamin D levels tend to drift downward and so certainly in those patients that um, had these diseases there was some evidence that they had lower levels of vitamin D the correlation between countries where people do get that adequate vitamin D and coronavirus mortality rates. What are we learning now? And so it's really interesting, uh, Shelley. So a study came out of the UK where they looked at uh, 20 countries in Europe and they looked at countries where uh, they were comparing cases of coronavirus and their severity. And they found that in the Southern European countries, for example, like in Italy and Spain, where the public tended to have lower levels of vitamin D, they actually noticed more cases of this uh, COVID-19 infection, and actually the cases were more severe in nature. Uh, conversely, in the more of the Northern European countries, like um, for example, in Finland and Sweden and Denmark and Norway, where the population tended to have higher or no, more normal levels of vitamin D, they actually saw fewer cases, and those cases that they saw seemed to be less severe. Now, research have looked at this, and, and one of the theories might be, Shali, that when we have lower levels of vitamin D, uh, that may cause us to have a more significant overreaction over our immune system to when we get this coronavirus infection, something called cytokine storm. This is where our, where our immune system kind of goes haywire. And instead of just attacking the virus, because it's, uh, these proteins are put out in such huge quantities, it attacks our own cells, the lungs being the most common. And so it tends to cause more problems with uh, ARDS, which is adult respiratory mm. distress syndrome, damaging of the lungs. We have diminished oxygenation. These are people, Charlotte, that tend to end up in an intensive care, care unit and tend to be ventilated and, and unfortunately tend to have more likely uh, to die from the they disease. So it's not necessarily that um, the, um, the virus is attacking the cells, but it's actually our own immune system. And this was more prevalent in these patients that seem to have lower levels of vitamin D. That is really interesting, Dr. Shafu. It is. I tested several years ago on a personal note, and I was told that I was vitamin D deficient, so I've been taking a supplement for years now. For anybody Good. who's watching this that may not know, am I vitamin D deficient? Is this one of those things you run out to the store and you're ordering vitamin D now and you start taking it without talking to anybody? So yeah, it's, it's actually, these are, these are supplements very readily available. I mean, like I said, there's certain foods that, uh, that you can obtain adequate vitamin D from, you know, egg yolks being one of those, getting out in the sun more, of course, since we're a lot more at home, we're more likely to get out in, in the sun at this mm. point. But it does seem that vitamin D, surely does play a role in helping uh, prevent or reduce uh, respiratory infections. And at least what's interesting in these studies is there is some correlation between vitamin D and these coronavirus cases, but we don't really know yet. I mean, researchers are looking at, so if patients get coronavirus and mm. they're given uh, doses of vitamin D to correct the vitamin deficiency, does it result in a, uh, a, a less of a severe clinical case? Uh, we don't know that, and it, obviously there are many other factors sure. uh, that are involved in this as well. It'll be interesting to find out because, uh, you know, the information changes almost on a daily basis. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of, lot of uh, great minds are working on this. They sure are. Dr. Richard Shafu, always good to see you. Good to see you, Shelley.